us, it means care for the planet, care for the customers, and care for our employees. We are going to be the industry champion in climate change mitigation, period. More global commitments are needed to fight against the 1.5 degrees Celsius rise in global temperatures and avert the worst effects of climate change. It is the reason why we have set our path to achieve net zero emissions by 2038 and cut our carbon emissions by half by 2030, benchmarking our 2021 metrics. We took 2021 as a reference, which makes the trajectory of our ethical commitment very bold compared to peers. This carbon net zero trajectory is one of our 22 corporate social responsibility commitments that we will report on every year. We'll reduce emissions across scope one, scope two, and scope three, and limit compensation to the bare minimum. This plan obviously relies on key external factors, but we will do our part. Taking a leadership role in decarbonization is the best path to protect our company, our employees, and generations to come. This path will not be complete without expanding our circular economy activities. We must change our consumption modes and the way we design our products and switch from a linear economy to a circular economy, going from a cradle to grave to a cradle to cradle business model. To do this, we have developed a comprehensive 360 degree business based on the traditional four R's, repair, reuse, remand, and recycle. It will be an independent business unit that will bring up to 2 billion in revenue by 2030. We'll offer our customers transparent, sustainable, and affordable products and services without compromising quality. The circular economy methodology will also extend to our manufacturing facilities. We'll dedicate specific factories for this activity in North America and Europe. An integrated ecosystem is vital for preserving and protecting the planet's resources. Developing this business with the same intentionality and rigor as our other arms will result in an increase of revenues by four for parts and services and by 10 for recycling revenue. Let's now move to care for the customer. Every customer counts, every journey matters. This is especially important to me as we are to become the number one in customer satisfaction in every market, in our products and our services. Paying special attention to the full end-to-end -end experience, inspiring actions throughout the value chain. We'll do this in four main ways. One, reshape the customer experience and reach an unprecedented level of customer satisfaction with our electrified products and services, improving all KPIs by 2024. Two, Use the big data to reduce our time to fix by 50%. Three, improve each customer touch point with a new holistic view of the customer journey. And finally, always keeping the customer at the center of everything we do. We are spending significant time thinking about and building technologies to make it easier for customers to interact with the Stellantis universe. Our intention, is to remove any customer friction and hit this aggressive target by the end of the decade. As we continue to put a laser focus on the customer journey, it's also vital to focus on our employee journey. We know we aren't the only automaker chasing tech talent. The competition is fierce, but top talent are hearing our messages and coming to us. I am thrilled to share with you some of our recent new team members, Neda, Vishnu, and Berta. Check one, two. We're good, you guys good? Marker. You. That's a big mic. <laughs> My name is Neda Svietic. I am Senior Vice President, Head of Artificial Intelligence at Salantis. My name is Berta Rodriguez Herbas, and I am the VP of AI Algorithms and Operations at Stellantis. I'm Vishnu Sundaram. I'm the Senior Vice President Managing Cockpit and Connected Services at Stellantis. 
This was a unique opportunity being part of uh, such a great team transforming the company from being a vehicle company into a technology company. Stellantis has the most incredible portfolio of iconic brands. It has global reach and I had the really strong alignment and vision with the top leadership of SoftwareX. I feel Stellantis is the right mix between tradition and innovation. This is a challenge of our lifetimes, to make our roads safer by using AI. And you have a chance to do that here at Stellantis. When I came here, I was like, wait a minute, you want me to put AI in a Jeep and a Ram and a Maserati and an Alfa Romeo? <laughs> this is incredible. Yes, absolutely yes. What I love about working at Stellantis is the ability to create the AI strategy and technology from the ground up. The opportunity to build a cutting edge, market leading, state of the art, connected cockpit experience, which will be the segment benchmark and market leader in the industry. And this is going to power 14 prestigious brands of Stellantis. We have the potential to create a great impact and that we get to do it with a very diverse, multicultural team of uh, engineers. It's a very good mix to be in. I bring a unique combination of entrepreneurial energy with deep technical expertise. I'm very passionate about uh, high tech. I know how to build things. I know how to do data. I know how to build the machine that built the machine. I think what I can bring is an internalized, organic, hands-on understanding and experience of how a tech company works day to day. And combining that with Stellantis values to create something brand new in this industry. I also specialize in creating high performance work culture. This is going to be fundamental in terms of taking Stellantis to becoming a technology leader. I can tell you, these folks are driving change and challenging the statu quo. Since EV Day in July, we have received 15,000 resumes coming from people with experience at tech companies. We have already filled 300 open positions. This is a first step towards our objective of having 4,500 people in our software division in the next two years. I thank them warmly for their contributions already to our company, but we also want to unleash the full potential of existing talent, encouraging their skills, perspectives and energy through a four-pronged approach. After all, diverse ideas are at the core of Stellantis, so first our leadership team should represent all of us. Stellantis is a meritocracy and we will reward and advance any talented individual who exemplifies the top leadership skills. Specifically, by 2030, we aim to have no less than 35% of women in leadership roles. This target is absolutely necessary to build a business that truly reflects the incredible talent we have uh, in today's society. In our fast-changing industry, we are focused on supporting our employees with initiatives to accelerate their skills evolution to feed their appetite to dare forward. We are launching an unprecedented period of professional development through reskilling and training programs. Our Software and Data Academy, launched in January the 2nd, aims at reskilling 1,000 engineers per year. With customer acceptance of electrification still to be proven, we launch an electric academy in mid-February to upskill the entire Stellantis sales workforce by 2025. We also remain committed to remote work as COVID-19 has taught us all very valuable lessons on the agility, the flexibility, and the dedication our employees have, even in the toughest of situations. With remote work in place, we'll leverage our real estate footprint to cut emissions by 50% by 2025, helping contribute to our overall carbon net zero mission. Finally, we are strengthening our talent pipeline to embrace the dare forward mindset. By 2025, we will double the amount of leaders with direct PL responsibility. We will also provide entrepreneurial training to our high potential leaders 
to encourage value creation inside their specialty and across the business. The work we are doing internally in just our first year is making a difference. All right, let's move to the tech pillar.